They bow before your throne. Thank you, Jesus, because you are good. Thank you for today's service, Lord. As we begin, we ask you, Holy Spirit, may this, this broadcast change somebody's life for God today. We bless your name because you are with us and you are there where this, those people who are watching, oh God, it is, oh God. I bless you and I honor you. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Uh, I welcome you to today's broadcast. Uh, my name is David and I'm born again. I want us to have a session of prayer and I want us to read a scripture so that we can have direction on how to pray. I will read it from the book of Colossians chapter 1 from verse 15. And the Bible says he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, whether principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things and in him all things consist. Praise Jesus. Jesus is the realm of impossibilities. He is the creator and he was, the things that were created were created for him and by him. And the Bible says whether, whether thrones or dominions, whether those altars in your family, the Bible says he is above all those things. He is the firstborn of all, of all creation. Praise God. He has sent to the heavens. He, he, actually, the Bible says he descended to the lowest parts of the depths of even hell. And he ascended to the highest place and is seated with God in the heavenly places. So as you pray, pray with that understanding. In that thing that you are asking God for, in that thing that you are believing God for, he is able to do it because he is the realm of all possibilities. Oh my God, thank you for Jesus. Oh, thank you for this indescribable gift that you gave us. Oh, thank you because it is only by him we have access by the Spirit to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you, God. You created us in him, oh God. You made us alive in him, oh God. The day we got born again. I am alive together with Christ. He dwells in the inside of me in the form of the Holy Ghost. You are the God above all. Repa Sekitia Kantakati. You that speak and the thunderings. You that speak and the earth, O oh God, trembles. Repa Sekitia Kanda. Ratosta Kantakati. You that speak to dead things and they live. Rekodakati. Because the Bible says that of course things that are not as though they were. Rapa Sekitia Kantakati. I am walking in my destiny. I am walking according to the word of God. I excel in life. Because I've entered the realm of all possibilities. I've entered the realm of all possibilities. The realm of impossibilities. He says all things work for my God. They work for our God according to the to the purpose of God. He says, believe all things. That all things are possible with God. All things. It is the realm of possibilities. There's nothing that is withheld from me. In the book of Romans, you say, Oh, Repacadabatialakante, if you gave me Christ, if you gave us Jesus, what can you withhold from us? Oh, Repacadabatialakante, will you not also by Him give us all things? 
se conta cadê repassa cata e ela conta com a tua lavasca se conta cadê repassa cadê a cante that sickness is living your body we are not saying that is not there but we are telling you that there's a higher realm that speaks hell to your body repa canta cata reta se cadê re conta cadê because the bible says by strength you were healed shall i conta cadê This is your testimony child of God. Re pasakate, you are in the realm of all possibilities. Re kota kate, re tasakata, ya la kada bala, ye kota kate. What is that that you desire? Re pa kota bala, re to sekete. Se le kota kati la pasta, sha kata katula tosta, ye kote kete, ye le pa ra kota kata, re prasekete, ye kota kata, ra pasakate. Se conta ka dula ma, ye conta ba ria la pasa ka te, ye conta ka dia, ra pas ko polo, ne conta pa la, ye conta ka te, ne tas ka kanta ka ja, ra pas ke te, ye conta ka tora da. Oh, ri praza ka dia granda, ra tos ka kante, that marriage will work out. You need to believe God. Se ne conta ka te, ne pas ke te, for the Bible says that marriage is honorable. Ne conta ka tu la nasca, se conta ka ra, ne pas ke te, ne conta ka tu, ra pas ka te le canta. Ne conta ka dia la pas ka te, ne conta ka tu, ne pas ke te. You are going to excel in your life. Oh, malakante, because you are saying you are the head and not the tail. Ne pas ka te ka la, ne conta ka te, ne pas ka te ka le. Mele ba, mele ba, sha canta ka ta, ne to se ke te, ne conta ka te la daska. God is gold. Re pasa kata kata, re tasa kata. Oh my God! Oh, look what you've done to our lives. Se kota kati, re kota Maria. Look at how good you are. Re pasa kati, e kota kati a kanga. Re pasa kata, e kota kati. Se kota kati a la pasa kata. Re pasa kati. That means you will work out. Re pasa kata, re kota kati. Re pasa kati. He's the one who called you. He's the only one who can sustain you. Re pasa kati, re kanta kati. Re pasa kati a kanta. Re tos ka kanta. Re pasa kati a kanta. Re tos ka kanta kati. Re kota kati. Re pasa kati a kanta. Re tos ka kota kata. Re ba 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 ba. Re kota kati. Re kanta kati a la kanta kato. Re pasa kati a kanta. Re kota kati a kanta. Re pasa kati. It is the same Bible that says, "As therefore you received Him, you have received Christ. Also walk in Him." Se kota kati a la pasa kati. You received Him by faith. Walk by faith. Re pasa kata. Re kota kati a la pasa. Se kota kati a la pasa kati. Re kota kata. Ra pasa kati. Re kota kata. Ra pakanda kati. For we look not unto this which are For we look not unto things which are visible, but we look unto things which are not seen. Because the things which are not seen, they are eternal. But the things that you can see, they are for a time. They are temporary. You cannot compare what you are going through because what is going to be revealed is far much greater than that. Oh, Rapa Sakata, believe God, child of God. Se kada bada ba, e kada kate, re pa sakate. I am believing you, God. Re pa kada ba sakate. Oh my God, I excel in my marriage. I. Excel my marriage, re pasa kata. I excel in my relationship, re pasa kate, re kanta kato. My businesses are excelling in the mighty name of Jesus. Se le kunta baria la pasta, se kanta kata. Ratos de Krita, I am excelling in ministry. Re pasa kate, I'm walking in the ordained path. For me, se le kanta kato. I can never error. Rapa kada bada ba, re kanta kate, re tasa kate. Because he's faithful, he is faithful. He shall not let my foot be moved. Re pasa kate, he neither sleeps nor slumbers. He that watches over Israel is watching over you. He that watches over Israel is watching over me. And have you not known? He neither sleeps. He neither slumbers. He is always working. He is always working. He is always working for your good. Re pasa kata ya kunta kate. Don't lose hope. Don't give up, child of God. Don't give up. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to it. Re pasa kate. It is just for a time. It doesn't matter if it has been three years. You don't know what is coming. You don't know what God is, what testimony God is writing. Re pa kada ba sekete? E kanta kato. Re pa sekete ya kanta. Rata sekete ya kale. E kanta kato. Re pa sekete ya kanto. Rata sekete kanta kate. 
O salaba kanta gade, reprasa katia kanta gada, rapasa gade, yekrota gado, raprasa gade, reprota gade, o rapasa gade. He that began that good work in you shall surely shall surely accomplish it. He's not a god that leaves things halfway. He's working to accomplish it. Just believe, just believe, child. Oh, you're in the realm of possibilities. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Shalaba Kanta Gade. Repraske Krenta Gatiara Toske. Se Krenta Gatiara Taska Kranta Bari. Hele Kanta Bariara Paske. Oh, Shalakota Gade. Beriara Toske. Waku Abu Diwa. Waku Eshi Miwa Niwe. Tupan 
live from Mount Zion. This is our prayer retreat center where you can come and seek the face of the Lord. For more details, you can call those contacts just there down on the screen and we are going to be directed. We are just located in Tika. This is the past Ananas Mall and we want to tell you that there is a place for you where you can come and seek the face of the Lord. It's another time we want to hear the word of the Lord and I tell you that your life will never remain the same again. God must do something great in your life. 
God, God must do something new in our spirit, in our heart. The Bible says that the word of the Lord is like a sharp two-edged sword. And I tell you that this word of God is going to penetrate in your heart and it will never leave your life the same again. It will never leave you the, the way you are. It will transform you. It will up, uplift you. It will do something great. It will do something new in your heart, in your spirit. And your life will never remain the same again. Your life will never remain the same again. The Bible says that in the book of Isaiah, the way when the rain comes down, it will never leave the land the same again. Mimea uwe inachipuka. Kami tiliku imekauka uwa inanawiri tena. It is the same like the word of the Lord. When the word of the Lord will come to your life, the word of the Lord is, is breath. When it will come to your life, it will not leave you the same again. It is going to do something new. It is going to do something new in your spirit. It is going to do something new in your heart. There must spring something new. There must spring something new from your spirit. There must spring something new in your heart. And the Lord will bless you. And the Lord will increase you and the favor of the Lord will be upon you. Now let's put our hands together as you become the man of God. The man in France is going to minister to us today and to our life we never remain the same again. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, Santi, Santi Bwana Yesu. Sababu ya wema na fadhili, sababu ya kibali. Uh, na mshukuru pia mungu wagu na baba yangu. Kwa sababu ya mahali ya menifikisha. Kwa sababu ya vile. Anaperekana pamoja na mimi. Nachukua ifursa uh, kusema God bless you so much. In Jesus' name. Uh, kwa majina naitua Referred Francis. Nashukuru mungu. Nashukuru baba yangu. Sababu waliniita. Sababu walinitenga. Na akalipa uh, mwerekea majia ya kuitaniswa na ye. Kwa hivyo mimi vile niko mimi si yatima. Mimi ni, mu, ni mtoto alie na baba. Mimi ni mtoto abaye ana akona yule anamwagalia kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo nashukuru Mungu nashukuru baba yetu wa binguni sababu ya hiyo neema nataka kutoa hii fursa uh, pia kushukuru a uh, Ezra Christian TV sababu ya kunipa hii nafasi nisimame hapa nihubiri tena uh, kwa jina la Yesu niko kwa Ezra Christian TV Ezra Christian TV is a Christian uh, TV ambayo uh, inakuleta inaletea inakuletea habari inakuletea ujube na Mungu anakubariki kwa jina la Yesu. Tuko hapa uh, hapa Sarama. Uh, dipo huwa tuko hapa baada wa main studios kwa Nairobi. Uh, but nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya hiyo uh, na kwa sababu pia ya nafasi. Pia nataka tu uh, kuchukua fursa hii pia kushukuru familia yangu sababu pia wameni support, wamenisaidia, wamenifanya nifike mahali niliko. Maybe sigeweza kufika kama sio wao wamenishikiria sana wamenipatia support uh, mpaka ninahisi uh, ninasikia uh, niko na watu ambao wanani encourage sometimes nikiwa chini huwa wanakuja wanani encourage uh, so na pia na tana sema ni asante pia nataka kushukuru uh, praise team ambao tunakujaga na wao hapa natoa fursa kusema Mungu wabariki Mungu awatendee mambo makubwa kwa jina la Yesu wanaacha wanaacha shughuli zao wanakuja tunahudumu pamoja uh, wanajinyima uh, wanakosa wanakuja lakini hawajawahi kuja hawajawahi kosa kufika kwa hivyo pia natoa uh, shukurani kwao na Mungu awabariki uh, na watende mambo makubwa pia nataka kutoa fursa hii kushukuru uh, ministry ya Elohim Fellowship Ministry kanisa ambao ninahubiri nayo Inaitwa Elohim Fellowship Ministry. Uh, Mungu wabariki wote. Awatendee uh, mambo makubwa pia wamekuwa supportive, uh, wamenionyesha upendo, wamenionyesha shule, uh, wananipenda. So may God bless them in Jesus name. Pia uh, natoa fursa kushukuru uh, 
hawa producer kwa sababu watu wengi hao wanasahaulika wanakaa kutoka ma MC hawakubukagwi so may god bless you in jesus name takutoa fursa hii niwese pia uh, kuleta ujumbe wa Mungu kwa dakika kidogo tu kuligana vile roho wa Mungu atanisaidia na ninajua Mungu atatubariki na atatenda mambo makubwa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo in the book of Isaiah Uh, naleta ujumbe wangu pale Isaya chapter number 54. Uh, na ninaamini Mungu atatubariki na atatenda mambo makubwa kwa jina la Yesu. Ah uh, uh, first number one uh, na Mungu atawabariki mtakapoisikiza ujumbe. Kini kabla hatujaleta ujumbe wacha tuombe baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kushukuru na kubariki ni kwa sababu Jehova jire ya asubuhi ya leo ama siku ya leo mfalme wa ajabu tunaipeana mikononi mwako tunaikabidhi mikononi mwako Jehova jire na tangasa neema na tangasa kibali na tangasa wingu la neema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aishe milele bwana asante kwa sababu ya saa hii asante kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu usiyebadilika wewe ni Mungu usiyefananishwa na Mungu mwingine kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ninapoleta neno lako bwana naomba ukatubariki na ubo ukaweze kutuinua in Jesus name amen uh, in the book of uh, Isaya maandiko yanasema iba wewe ulie tasa wewe usie saa pasa sauti yako kwa kuiba piga kelele uh, wewe usie kuwa na utungu maana watoto wako aliyewaachwa ni wengi kuliko watoto wake yeye aliyeolewa asema bwana a uh, panua mahali pahema yako uh, na wayatadaze mapasia ya maskani yako uh, usiwakataze usiwakataze ogesa urefu wa kaba zako fikase vikingi vya hema yako mstari wa tatu kwa maana utaenea upande wa kuume na upande wa kushoto na wazao wako watawamiliki mataifa Aa, wataifanya miji iliyokuwa ukiwa kulikuka kukaliwa na watu mstari wa ina usiogope maana hauta hatarika wala usifadhaike maana hutaibishwa kwa kuwa utaisahau aibu ya ujana wako pia Aa, mastumu ya ujana wako hauita ya kubuka tena mstari wa 16 mstari wa 14 na na 15 inasema uh, utadhibitika katika haki utakuwa bali na kuonewa kwa maana hutaogopa na bali na hofu kwa maana haita ku, haita kukaribia tazama ya mkini watakusanyika lakini si kwa shauri langu watu ha, watu wote wataka kusanyika juu yako wataanguka kwa ajili yako ah maandiko inasungumsa ah, kuhusu ah, ah, kusahaulika ama kuhusu ah, jinsi Mungu anaenda kutufanya maandiko inasema ya kwamba iba wewe ulie tasa wewe usie ah, usie saa maandiko inasema ah, wewe usie saa ah, shagiria bwana piga shangwe ni kwa sababu Mungu anaenda kukuinua ninaogea asubuhi ya leo kuhusu kuinuliwa na Mungu na chia ya kipekee ni kwa sababu siku ya leo mpendwa Mungu anaenda kuku kuinua na chia kipekee Mungu atatumia chia fulani atakuinua na chia ambayo haukuwa unadhani utainuliwa nayo maandiko yanasema ya kwamba hawa ni watu wawili ambao uh, Biblia inawaogelelea kuna mama mocha uh, abaye ameolewa abaye ako na mume na kuna mwingine abaye ni tasa kuna huyu abaye ni tasa maandiko inasema wewe na maandiko sana sana inasema uh, inaogelelea kwa huyu abaye ni tasa inasema ya kwamba wewe ulie tasa uh, iba wewe ulie tasa wewe usie za pasa sauti yako kwa kuiba piga kelele wewe usie kuwa na utungu maana watoto wako alie uh, ma, watoto wako aliyeolewa ni wengi kuliko wale wa yule abaya kona mume bwana Yesu asifiwe sana yani hapa ni neno ama siku ya leo ni a word of encouragement ni neno la kututia nguvu ni neno la bao uh, wakati ya baba tunakaa kama tumefika mwisho wakati ya baba tunakaa kama kana kwamba tumeremewa wakati ya baba tumefika ni kana kwamba mambo yetu yameharibika mambo yame 
yamekuwa mazito mambo yamechafuka maandiko inasema ya kwamba ah, wewe usie wewe usie saa wewe ambao ni tasa wewe ambao wewe ni tasa shangiria piga shangwe piga makerere ni kwa sababu watoto wako wewe ambao kwa saa hii wewe ni tasa watoto wako ni wengi kuliko wa wale ambao wanazaa bwana Yesu inuliwe sana <coughs> siku ya leo uh, maandiko inasema ya kwamba uh, wale ambao wasie kuwa na, u, na utungu wale wasio kuwa na uchungu ya kujifungua bwana anasema ya kwamba washangilie ni kwa sababu bwana anaenda kuachilia watoto wale watoto wabao watazaliwa pale ni watoto wengi kuliko wale watoto wa yule ambaye aliye na mume maandiko inasema hapo chini inasema ya kwamba wewe ambaye ni tasa eda ukase hema yako eda ukase hema yako eda ukase hema yako ni kwa sababu bwana anaenda kuleta watu from from north from south from west from east bwana anaenda kukusanyisha watu bwana anaenda kukusanyisha watoto wako bwana anaenda kukuletea baraka nataka kusungumza na mtu siku ya leo hema yako inakaa kana kwamba imefinywa mahali ambapo unafanyia kazi mahali ambapo maybe una hudumu maybe mahali ambapo umeolewa ama mahali umeoa inakaa kana kwamba umefinywa inakaa kana kwamba hauna mwelekeo inakaa kana kwamba maisha yako yamefinywa maandiko inasema uh, stretch your tent uh, kasa uh, panua hema yako maana bwana anaenda kuachilia baraka siku ya leo tunapoingia katika hii wiki bwana anasema hema zetu tukaweze kusipanua tukaweze kupanua hema zetu ni kwa sababu bwana wa majeshi ataachilia neema ya watoto wetu walio ke walio bali wale ambao wako bali bali bwana atawaachilia watashuka kwa jina la Yesu my brother my sister wherever you are nataka nikuambie siku ya leo tunapoenda uh, kumalizia hii mwezi tunapoendelea na hii nataka nikuambie hema zetu bwana anasipanua bwana nasema hema zetu zitapanuka hema zetu zitapanuliwa kwa jina la Yesu hajarishi mpendwa wanasema namna gani wamekuchekelea ni kwa sababu umekaa mahali ambapo ni squid ni kwa sababu umekaa mahali ambapo maybe hakuna mwelekeo maybe hauna unapoangalia mahali pale unashidwa hata wewe ni wa nini yani unakosa mpaka matumaini bibili imesema ya kwamba usiogope chochote ndugu yangu dada yangu usiogope bwana anasema usiogope bwana anasema usiogope mwana bwana dia atakuwa pamoja na wewe anasema hautaibika wewe ulie tasa usiogope wewe ya boha una saa hii nasungumza na roho ya mtu wa bwana iko katika hali ya, ma, ya matumaini iko katika hali ya matumaini ya makubwa maybe kuna vitu unatumainia maybe kuna vitu unazigojea nasungumza na hiyo roho yako siku ya leo bwana anasema ya kwamba usiogope bwana anasema ya kwamba usiogope wala usi fadhaike maana bwana yu pamoja na wewe nasungumza na mtu siku ya leo nikwambia usiogope Mungu akasungumza na Yoshua akamwambia wewe Yoshua usiogope chochote maana mimi ndio nitakuwa pamoja na wewe usiogope chochote nitakushika mkono nitakupigania vita nitakushidania mpendwa siku ya leo my brother my sister hiyo vita ambayo unayapitia hiyo changamoto ambayo unazipita siku ya leo bwana anasema usiogope chochote Usiogope my brother my sister ni kwa sababu Bwana yu pamoja na wewe ni kwa sababu Bwana dia atakushika mkono ni kwa sababu Bwana atakupigania vita sometimes inaonekana kana kwamba wamekuacha inaonekana kana kwamba tumeachiriwa inaonekana kana kwamba hatuna maybe hatutafika lakini siku ya leo Bwana anasema usifadhaike usifujike moyo usikuve moyo siku ya leo maana Bwana yu pamoja na wewe Bwana atakushika Bwana atakushidania mpendwa kwa jina la Yesu that's why my brother my sister siku ya leo kama kuna vitu wabazo maybe simekufanya uh, ukae kana kwamba unaogopa ukae kana kwamba maybe umeremewa bibili imesema ya kwamba uh, mstari wa ine usiogope usiogope maana hauta ya ta, hauta hayalika wala usifadhaike maana hautaibishwa <coughs> ndugu yangu na dada yangu bwana anasema ya kwamba usiogope maana hatutaibika ndugu yangu na dada yangu Mungu anasema tusiogope hilo hilo jambo linataka kukuaibisha maybe umesukumwa kwa kona fulani maybe kuna mambo imekusukuma ikuaibishe maybe kuna mambo inataka ikuaibishe Bwana anasema ya kwamba siku ya leo usiogope maana hautaibika usiogope maana hautaibika inaonekana kana kwamba sometimes ah ni kana kwamba tumefinywa ni kana kwamba watu wanagojea aibu wanakutazama wanaona vile watoto wako wako wanatazama vile familia 
familia hiyo inaishi wanatazama wanashindwa wewe unatumikia Mungu gani wengine mpaka wanakudhihaki wengine mpaka wanakuchekerea wengine wanaona ni kana kwamba hautaweza bwana anasema usiogope dugu yangu bwana anasema usiogope mama usiogope kichana usiogope mtu wa Mungu mahali ambapo uko sahi mambo ambayo unaipitia changamoto ambazo ziko usiogope maana bwana anasema hautaibika mimi nimetumwa na bwana nikuambie ile aibu shetani alikuwa amepanga kuna aibu shetani alikuwa amepanga kinyume na maisha yako kinyume na anga yako kinyume na mafamilia hiyo kinyume na hiyo kazi kinyume na maisha yako kinyume na vile uh, una survive kwa siku bwana anasema usiaibike bwana anasema hautaibika Daudi akasema nimekukibiria ewe bwana nisiaibike milele Daudi akasema ya kwamba yeye amekukibiria amekibiria Jehova ili asiaibike milele hata mimi siku ya leo mpendwa nataka nikuwabie wanao mkibiria bwana wanao mtumainia bwana hawataibika milele kwa hivyo siri ya kutoaibika siku ya leo ni kuamini tu ni kutumainia bwana ni kukaa kama mapenzi ya bwana wapendwa tukikaa kama bwana hatutaibika milele sometimes inakaa kana kwamba shetani anajaribu kutuaibisha lakini bwana anasema hautaibika milele bwana amenituma na ujumbe siku ya leo ya kwamba wale ambao Shetani anaada aibu juu ya wengine maybe ni mahali ulienda kuuliza kazi shetani anaada aibu ya vile utaenda pale ufrustratiwe maybe mahali unafanya kazi shetani kuna ile aibu anaada ndani yako bwana anasema ya kwamba asubuhi ya leo hiyo aibu hautaipitia anasema ya kwamba usiogope maana hautatahayalika wala usifadhaike maana hautaibishwa dada yangu na ndugu yangu usiaibi usifadhaike usifadhaike maandiko yanasema katika kitabu ya madhao msifadhaike mioyoni mwenyu kama mmeniamini kama mnanijua kama mnaniamini ba ninaenda kuwatengenezea makao bwana siku ya leo anasema ya kwamba wale ambao wanataka kuibishwa hawataibiki hawataibika and this is a prophetic message for you my brother my sister kuna aibu shetani anaada kuna maybe kicheko shetani anakuadaria kuna maybe maisha shetani anajaribu vile atakuibisha maybe anagojea ufutwe kasi uibike Maybe anagojea mtoto wako alemewe maybe anagojea a, maisha yako yaribike hiyo kazi iishe hiyo biashara yako ianguke anagojea muachane na mume wako anagojea muachane na mke wako ili aweze kuachekerea naye bwana anasema yakoba hautaibika kwa jina la Yesu nasungumza na wale ambao wameishi kumtumaini ya bwana nasungumza na wale ambao wameishi kufanya huduma ya bwana wale wameishi kufanya kazi ya bwana bwana hata achiria aibu juu yenu wengine wanasema Mungu wenyu wako wapi wanapotutazama wanaona vile umehudumu wanaona vile unajikaza wanaona vile unasema Yesu anaweza ili hali wanatazama wanaona maisha yako ni kana kwamba inadhohovika Bwana anasema asubuhi ya leo hautaibika kwa jina la Yesu hautaibika anasema nitawaodolea aibu kwa jina la Yesu haleluya siku ya leo Mungu wetu anaenda kutuodolea aibu siku ya leo mpendwa Mungu wetu anaenda kutuodolea aibu. Haijarisi ni mambo gani? Haijarisi ni changamoto za aina gani? Haijarisi vile unakaa. Haijarisi vile shetani amekupangia. Lakini siku ya leo Mungu wetu anaenda kuodoa. Baba yetu anaenda kutuodolea aibu kwa jina la Yesu. Tetaza ni mata umeaibika kiwango gani? Paka watu wanakuchekerea. Paka wanaona ni kana kwamba wewe hata hawajui vile Aa, unasema tu unasema tu wewe unakaa tu kusema Yesu anakupenda unakaa tu kusema Yesu anakupenda Aa, una, unatia watu nguvu na lakini wewe Mungu alikuacha nataka nikusomee mstari moja mstari wa nane verse number 8 Joshua chapter number 5 verse number 8 Aa, ilikuwa walipokusha kutahiriwa taifa mzima wakakaa kila mtu mahali pake maragoni hata walipopona bwana uh, mstari wa tisa bwana akamwambia Yosua siku hii ya leo nimeifigirisha hiyo aibu ya Misri iondoke juu yenu kwa hiyo jina la mahali pale likaitwa Giligali hata hivi leo inaitagwa Giligali <coughs> Mungu akasungumza na wana wa Israeli kupitia mtumishi wake Joshua Maliko inasema ya kuwa ba, uh, kubuka uh, wewe ambao unanitazama unanisikiza ujumbe wangu siku ya leo ni ya kwamba hatutaibika kwa jina la Yesu. 
Maniko inasema wana wa Israeli walipomaliza kutahiriwa walipo uh, maliziwa kupitia katika ahali ya tohara maandiko inasema walikaa kila mmoja kifi yake mpaka wakapona maandiko inasema na hiyo siku Mungu akasungumza na Joshua Mungu akasungumza na Joshua akamwambia Joshua Bwana akamwambia Joshua siku hii ya leo nimeifingirisha aibu ya wana wa Israeli Siku ya leo mada ya siku ya leo mpendwa Bwana ameodoa aibu katika maisha yenu Bwana ameodoa kicheko katika maisha yenu Siku hii ya leo mpendwa Bwana anaodoa kilio juu ya maisha yenu Bwana anaodoa huzuni juu ya maisha yenu Wapendwa siku ya leo Bwana anaenda kuwaodolea aibu Bwana anaenda kutuodolea aibu Maandiko imetuambia katika kitabu uh, uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah ya kwamba wale ambao wasie saa watoto wao watakuwa wengi watatoka bali bali nimetangaza siku ya leo bwana akusanye baraka zako mahali ya baba baraka zako ziko bwana asikusanye ya kulete kwa jina la Yesu maana Mungu wetu ni, mu, a, ni, ni wa ajabu Mungu wetu our, our god never compromise akisema amesema alisema atakubariki na shuari atakubariki yeye ndiye anasema ya kwamba siku ya leo atakuletea atakuletea watoto wako Wario tengwa, wario tupwa Wale ya bao hawana mwerekea Wario kuwa jagwari Bwana atakuletea Kwa hivyo siku ya leo my brother my sister Wewe ya bao maybe uko kwenye jangwa furani Wewe maybe uko kwenye wilderness furani Wakati mutu anapo ingia kwenye wilderness Nina chuaga jabo moja Nina tendeka watu wote wanakuacha Watu wote wataki kuwa na wewe Wengine hata wario kuwa wanakura na wewe Wanakuacha, wanakuchekerea Wanasema kweli mungu wako walikuacha Lakini nataka ni kuja na ujube Ni kwabia ya kwamba wario sema umeachwa na Bwana wale wale tu watakuona ukiwa umeinuliwa na Bwana nataka nikuambie walio kuwa wanaona kana kwamba juice wametengwa wataisha wakati wa Moredekai wakati Haman alisema ya kwamba Moredekai akanyongwe walidhani wamemaliza Moredekai lakini hawakujua ya kwamba Moredekai hataisha Moredekai ni kuinuliwa walio kuwa wameweka mtumishi wa Bwana ambaye anaitwa Mephibosethi kwenye ile muji wa Rodebari Bibili inasema ya kwamba wakati yule mtumishi aliuliswa kama kuna mtu amebaki kwenye nyumba ya, ya Jonathan akasema hakuna moja lakini kuna kiwete moja yani there are some people who are damning our life kuna watu ambao wanaadamine maisha yetu wanapo kudescribe wana kudescribe na mambo yako wana kudescribe na mambo yako wanasema yule mama ambao watoto wake ni walevi wanasema yule kijana ambaye kasi yake ni kuzurura wanasema yule msichana anaolewa akitoka wanasema yule mama ambaye anasafi wete nataka ni kuambia ya subuhi ya leo bwana anaenda kubadilisha hiyo historia hiyo aibu ambayo unapitishwa na shetani na kuambia shuari bwana atakuodolea hiyo aibu bwana atatuodolea hauta describe hivyo tena hawata kudescribe tena wale ambao wamekuwa kudescribe na hiyo mambo wale wale tu ndio watasema kwa hakika yule Mungu anatumikia kwa hakika yule Mungu ambaye anamtumikia ni Mungu anaweza ni Mungu amemuinua ni Mungu ambaye amembadilishia siku ya leo nimeomba bwana kubadilishie siku ya leo ninaomba bwana Bwana abadilishe anga yako, bwana abadilishe maisha yako. Bwana akaweze kubadilisha maisha yako ile historia wanakutu wanakuita ile maneno wanakuwabia yale mabo ambayo yako bwana wa majeshi akakuodole bwana wale hema akasimame pamoja na wewe bwana akainue kiwango ya maisha yako wengi wanakukibia wengi wanakutazama wengine wamekaa mahali tu wanasema wani bi Mungu wake bwana anasema asubuhi ya leo atafingirisha aibu yako ataodoa aibu katika hiyo familia ataodoa aibu katika maisha yako hata tuodolea kicheko wengine wanasema ulikuwa umeinuka vizuri lakini saa hii umerudi chini wanasema ulikuwa umebarikiwa lakini saa hii haujabarikiwa nataka nikuambie mpendwa watatuona tena kwa jina la Yesu watakuona ukiinuliwa tena watakuona bwana akikuinua kwa jina la Yesu wait upon the lord mgojee bwana saburi ya 40 maandiko inasema Daudi alimgojea bwana kwa saburi akabadilishiwa wibo akawekerewa wibo mpya siku ya leo tunapomalizia nataka nikuambie Bwana ataweka wibombia juu ya maisha yako. Bwana atakuweka wibombia juu ya maisha yako. Hiyo maisha ambayo unayaishi mpendwa, Bwana ataweka wibompia. Bwana ataibadilishia maisha yako kwa jina la Yesu. Moro na moro waide wito mudanya wao mothe. Gotira makani ya maudo maliko uragerera. Hajarisi ni mabo gani unayapita. Hajarisi ni vitu gani unasipita. Bibiri nasema ya kwaba uh, mustari wa kuminatano. Pale tumesoma isaya. Nimalize na pale. 
na tasa, inasema tasama ya mkini watakusanyika lakini si kwa, sa, kwa shauri yangu wala wowote wala wote watakao kusanyika watakao kusanyikana juu yako wataanguka kwa ajili yako tasama nimemuuba mu, uh, nimemuuba muhunzi afuku uh, aku futaye moyo moto wa maka mstari wa 17 inasema kila siraha iliyofanywa iliyo juu yako haitafanikiwa na kila ulimi utakaoinuka juu yako katika hukumu utahukumu kuwa makosa huu ndio ulithi wa watumishi this is the heritage of the servant of god hakuna siraha iliyowekwa hakuna siraha wale ambao wamekusanyika na siraha zao kwa sababu ninaona watu katika maisha ya mtu siku ya leo wanakusanyika na, ma, na, na siraha wanakusanyika wapigane na wewe wanakusanyika wakamate nyota yako wanakusanyika waweze ku, uh, ku, kukamata anga yako wanakusanyika ili waweze kukupiga wanakusanyika ili waweze kukuinukia wanakukusanyikia ili wakupige lakini bwana anasema ata washida kwa jina la Yesu. Maandiko inasema wamekujikusanyisa, wamejikusanya lakini si kwa mashauri yangu, wamejikusanyisa ili wapigane na wewe. Lakini Bwana anasema ata wamaliza in the book of Deuteronomy Biblia inasema ya kwamba uh, watakuja na jia moja, bali kusabaratika watasabaratika na jia saba. Siku ya leo mpendwa nimesema maadui zetu wasawa, watawanyike na jia saba. Maadui zako wafirisikie jia saba kwa jina la Yesu. Wanaweza kuwa wamekuja na jia moja, wanaweza kuwa wamekuja tu na nia yao tu ni kumalizana na wewe. Wanaweza kuja tu ili wakamate nyota yako. Wanaweza kuja tu wapigane na wewe. Wanaweza kuja tu kwa sababu ya mashauri mabaya, kwa sababu ya mambo mabaya wako nayo ndani yako. Lakini siku ya leo Bwana anasema nitasimama pamoja na wewe, nitakupigania vita. Mpendwa nitaka poenda kuoba pamoja na wewe. Nataka nikuambie kila aibu shetani alikuwa amekuadalia, kila aibu shetani alikuwa amekuwekea, kila aibu shetani asubuhi ya leo alikuwa amesema utaibika na alikuwa amekuwekea alikuwa amesema hautaendelea alikuwa amesema utaisha vitu mingi shetani alikuwa amekupangia lakini siku ya leo bwana anasema ya kwamba atasimama pamoja na wewe anasema ya kwamba bwana atasimama pamoja na wewe kwa jina la Yesu haijalishi ni mambo gani shetani anatupitishia ana, ana, ana haijalishi ni mambo gani shetani anasema ya kwamba hautafika lakini siku ya leo bwana anasema utafika kwa jina la Yesu siku ya leo bwana anasema tutafika kwa jina la Yesu maana jehova chire anaweza maana baba yetu anaweza maana mungu wetu hata tuacha mungu wetu hawezi akatuacha kama watoto yatima atasimama pamoja na sisi atatuinua kiwango ya juu maana yeye ni mwaminifu mungu wetu ni mwaminifu mungu wetu anaweza mungu wetu hakuna jambo lisilowezekana kwake yote inawezekana kwa bwana kwa jina la Yesu mpendwa siku ya leo nataka nikuambie atakana kwamba wamepanga chama lakini maandiko imetuambia ya kwamba usiogope maana hauta hautaibika